And now for our dinosaur of the day, Supersaurus, which was a request from Taco Taco via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. It was a diplodocid sauropod that lived in the late Jurassic in what is now Colorado and Wyoming in the U.S. and was found in the Morrison Formation. The type species is Supersaurus vivianae, and the genus name means super lizard. It was found in 1972 by Vivian Jones, so the species is named after her. Supersaurus is estimated to be between 108 to 112 feet or 33 to 34 meters long. Oof. Yeah, and well, hence the name, super. <laughs> it's also estimated to weigh about 32 to 38 metric tons. Supersaurus may have had a similar body to Apatosaurus, but less robust. It had a long tail and bulky body and a small head. It had one of the longest known necks. One large cervical vertebrae that was found was 54 inches or about 21 centimeters long. Holy cow. Yeah. That's almost as tall as you. Oof, just the <laughs> one vertebrae in the neck. <laughs> Supersaurus was described in 1985 by James Jensen. It was informally named Supersaurus in 1973, though. Originally, they found the shoulder girdle, ischium, and tail vertebrae. A more complete individual was found in Converse County, Wyoming in 1996 and assigned to Supersaurus in 2007. And that's about 30% of the skeleton. That's a lot of bone. Oh, yeah. For that big of an animal. <laughs> <laughs> There's potentially a second species, Supersaurus lorinhanensis, known from Portugal. A 2015 phylogenetic study of diplodocids found that Dinherosaurus lorinhanensis is a new species of Supersaurus. And this came about because of a 2015 phylogenetic study of diplodocids by Shop and others. They're the ones who brought back Brontosaurus. They found that Dinherosaurus lorenhanensis was a new species of Supersaurus and became Supersaurus lorenhanensis. Supersaurus has some junior synonyms. There's Ultrasaurus slash Ultrasaurus macintoshi and Dystylosaurus edwini. Jensen had described Ultrasaurus, but the type specimen was later found to be Supersaurus. The type specimen was based on dorsal vertebrae, and it had come from the same quarry. There's a lot more to the story of Ultrasaurus. We cover it in episode 21, Ultrasaurus, where we also have our interview with Josh Cotton, who drew the Allosaurus featured on our new shirt. So it all ties together. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> and then if you want to know a little bit more about Dystylosaurus, that was a diplodocid found near the original Supersaurus quarry and was also based on a dorsal vertebrae later found to belong to Supersaurus. You can see a reconstruction of Supersaurus at Wyoming Dinosaur Center. His nickname is Jimbo. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.